Guy Harvey, artist, scientist, angler, diver, conservationist, and family man. Journey with Guy to the world's greatest fishing waters, where every fish, every fight is a window on another world. Where every catch is a portrait from the deep waiting to be painted. Go exploring with Guy in the last wild country under the waves. The second day finds us out on two boats, the Tropic King with Captain Wilfredo, and I'm out on the Waterman with Captain Jimmy Grant. My mission today is to get shots of free swimming billfish, while John and Ken will continue to test circle hooks and catch white marlin. They don't have long to wait, and Wilfredo is in the zone. The Venezuelan samba is pulsating as the white marlins surge into the spread of baits. Captain Jimmy on the Waterman swings in close and puts me in on a teased up white marlin. This white marlin appears to have had a rough life. Even with individual variation, its dorsal fin is ragged and the bill is broken off completely. Today was a first in that I shot a billfish grand slam all free swimming, including two blue marlin, two sailfish and a white marlin through the course of the day. As I've shown before, other species of billfish don't need their bill for survival, though it helps in some feeding situations, but it is not essential. Did you see it happen? Oh, no I didn't, but... I've got two good passes. Good. Look at that. Jimmy, that was the most beaten up white marlin I've ever seen. Had no bill, got parasites all over his body, like gloves on his skin. But he was pretty hungry there for a while. He must have been a wise one because uh, we missed him there a couple of times. Yeah. We're back on board the Tropic King as a tagging team prepared to release another pair of whites caught on circle hooks. Two more healthy whites swim off into the blue as John completes another successful tagging expedition. In this three-year study, most of the white marlin have moved away from the coast toward the northwest, the north, and the northeast, therefore have spread out in a fan with no appreciable pattern. 